So hello all and welcome. And I am the Bachelor Philosopher, also known as the Realist Philosopher. So how y'all doing today? Hope you're all doing good, fine, and well. So before we get to this story, please give me a like, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell. It's the only way you're going to get notified. And even if you hit the notification bell, you're not going to get notified a lot of the time because, you know, you know how YouTube feels about channels like mine. But at the very least, you're much more likely to get notified than not if you hit that bell. So go ahead, hit that, and leave a comment, okay? Anyway, so I want to talk about this story here. And personally, I think this is just another PSYOP. I think there's a purpose behind this kind of story, these kind of moves women are making in gymnasiums. So I'm sure you've heard about this the past year or so. There's been a lot of stories of chicks going into the gym, setting up cameras, and trying to catch dudes supposedly, oh, Colleen, them for the purpose of shaming the men, but actually for the, what is the greater purpose for the woman, which is to get attention, get victimhood points, chase some clout, seem virtuous, get some cheap virtue, so some virtue signaling, and, uh, you know, try and get popular on their social media, their Instagram, their TikTok, whatever. Of course, uh, they themselves don't see, you know, the unintended consequences, which I don't believe are actually unintended. Uh, they're just, in many cases, unintended for these women because they don't think ahead too much, because they just think in the moment. They don't think logically, critically, reasonably to see down the line where this kind of behavior is going to lead. But I do believe that where it's going to lead and what are, to me, very obvious consequences are intended. But anyway, uh, this is a new trend, women doing this, and now, you know, they're up in the ante. And I wanted to talk about this story where this woman goes into a gym with painted on gym clothes, specifically painted on pants. Now, I, I guess you could argue that she's not naked because, oh, well, you know, a lot of those yoga pants, they're so thin uh, truth be told, the paint that's being put on her could be as thick or thicker in some cases than a lot of the yoga pants chicks wear. I mean, have you seen some of these yoga pants? They're skin tight. They might as well be naked. So this is like the same thing. In fact, she might even be more covered in this case because the paint's so much thicker. So, you know, this is, the paint could be so much thicker. Uh, all right. First of all, paint is not clothing. <laughs> that's number one. Clothing is clothing, okay? So trying to conflate the two, completely disingenuous, okay? False conflation. Number two, even if you could make that argument, um, the paint is painted on, it's even more revealing than the tightest yoga pants. And also, it's not going to stop certain bodily fluids from certain orifices so there's a hygiene issue as well now of course and there's also the truth of the matter which we all know that if a man did this everybody would be freaking out so this is really just a perfect example of just how much privilege women have that they think they can go around doing this without getting called out meanwhile and she does get called out by the way but not enough people do i think like one guy uh, but if a man did this, the women would be crying foul. It's, it's a perfect example of patriarchy doing this and affronting our eyes with your male figure and your parts. <laughs> oh, that you can't hide with paint. Oh, but you can hide it on a woman with paint. Right. It's, it's, such, it's just so nonsensical, these arguments that they, I'm sure they've uh, come up with to justify and excuse this type of behavior. So anyway, let's get into this story. I know there's a video. We may or may not watch it. Uh, so let's see what this uh, article has to say, shall we? So this is from the New York Post. Woman ripped for wearing body paint the gym. It's too bad she's not wearing clothes that could at the least rip Although I suppose paint, it could crack and uh, chip uh, to gym. Why everyone acting like I was naked? Because you were. And it's interesting to me. If my pants rip, people have a problem with that because that would be nakedness. But me, you know, wearing painted on pants, that's, that's totally different. 
No big deal. Why is everyone acting like it was because you were naked? What are you talking about? I, I, that's so interesting to me. She thinks that uh, clothing, i.e. fabric pants, are the same as painting on pants. Her legs were toned in a different way, says who? A California influencer. Ah, California, yes, the home of uh, mediocrity and relativity, who was ripped at the gym for wearing body paint on her legs, yeah, in lieu of actual clothing, uh, claim that she's a victim of societal double standards. Oh, you're a victim. Well, of course, because that's what all this uh, clout chasing in gyms by women is all about. Yeah, trying to be a victim. A video of the confrontation with fellow gym goers currently boasts 32 million views on Twitter. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot, which is what she was going for, right? Shock value, baby. And we all know she'd have never gotten away with this if she was a man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're saying the, way, the double standard is favoring you, honey, as is typically the case. Guy in the gym presses me for wearing painted pants, griped Natalie Reynolds, 25. Okay, so what is your, that's what you wanted, right? I don't think you went to the gym wearing painted on pants, no clothing on your lower half because you didn't want people to pay attention to you. I find this interesting. She is crying foul for uh, what she claims is being put upon, ripped confronted when that had to have been her goal. Why else would you go into a gym naked? Oh, excuse me, wearing painted on clothing, which isn't clothing. Clothing is fabric. That's what you wanted. Now she's griping about exactly what she wanted. And this is the interesting thing to me. Another interesting thing. These uh, chicks, they go into these gyms. Uh, uh, they get into these uh, very suggestive poses. Their butts sticking out. Uh, they're, they're, they're purposefully showing all the parts of themselves in the most graphic ways that men want to see. And then they complain if a man gives them the very attention they're clearly there to get. He presses me. Oh, yeah. Natalie Reynolds, 25, who's a fixture on the video game streaming platform Kick. And the caption to the clip taken on. It's, 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 okay, so December 27th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the clip showed the Los Angeles native who also posts 2.4 million 2.4 million TikTok followers. How do you make money on TikTok? I know a bunch of these people on like TikTok and Instagram who have big followings. They make money. But how? I mean, what do they like get advertisers and they advertise like what? Like products and um, clothing and stuff. Well, clearly she's not advertising clothing in this clip. She's advertising herself very explicitly. I guess that's how, I, I, I don't know. I don't know how the social media influencer game works and how they make money. Uh, walking through an undisclosed weight room while decked out and painted on tights. Hmm. Which repeat, reportedly took her five to six hours to apply. So are you telling me that you spent six hours having paint applied to your bottom, your legs, your nether regions uh, to appear to be clothing it's not actually clothing to get no attention this is what i find interesting if nobody had looked if nobody had protested if nobody had complained if nobody had confronted her that wouldn't be a video to talk about so she got what she wanted that is the only logical conclusion there can be no other that is exactly what she wanted she wanted to provoke a response, and then she complains. Yeah. And another perfect example that the only victimhood that exists for women is the type that they make up. And it's really just the response of people to their own bad actions. They label that, oh, yeah, oppressive, and uh, I'm a victim. Yeah. Phew. That's a lot of trouble, by the way. Six hours to apply. Oh, my God. Reynolds' fashion statement attracted the attention of a fellow gym goer who labeled her choice of workout wear inappropriate. That's because it was. Um, look, the, the majority of serious gym goers are men. And if you go check out a female-only gym, which shouldn't exist, by the way. It's unconstitutional. It's uh, discriminatory on its face. Uh, and if you can have all female gyms, why can't you have all male gyms? Mm. <laughs> and she's talking about double standards, huh? 
Yeah, okay. The only ones I see are the ones that favor women. I don't see any double standards favoring men. But anyway, men take gyms seriously, and a very sub small subset of women do. But it seems that women go to gyms primarily, in my opinion, not all, but I think most, just to get male attention, just to feel validated. I mean, the poses that they take, the ways that they work out, the way that they tend to hang around certain dudes in the gym, you know, the biggest, the buffest, uh, you know, strongest guys, uh, the way they tend, tend to congregate where the most men are, tells me, uh, just from what I've seen, that the majority of women want validation, they want attention. That's it. And so the problem is that... You've taken what is a natural emotion with women, and you've amped it up to a degree that by itself it wouldn't reach. So I, I think this is all uh, socially engineered. I think some women or women initially were paid to start this trend by the powers that be to essentially make gyms a hostile environment for men and to just frustrate and uh, essentially make going to the gym for a man too much of a pain in the butt because they've got to deal with these kind of women who are constantly seeking attention, validation, approval, and now are clout chasing and seeking to provoke responses from men that will then allow them to claim victimhood and shame these men all over TikTok and Twitter and Instagram and YouTube and thereby make the men's lives more difficult. And then what happens to these men? They stop going to the gym. Now, some of them might get home gyms, but that can be rather expensive. And I think the goal here is to stop as many men from working out as possible so that their T-levels drop. Call me a tinfoil hat wearer, call me a conspiracy theorist, but I think this is just another move by the powers that be, global elites, in one of their many social engineering experiments, uh, psyop moves, to get men to stop going to the gym. You see, one of their goals is to essentially crash the testosterone levels of men to just crash them because testosterone it's that hormone that makes men want to provide and protect and gives them their heightened critical thinking abilities and makes them better at employing logic and reason you destroy that and replace it with, uh, you know, synthetic estrogens. Well, you're making men more emotional, less protective, less strong, less rational, less reasonable. But working out counters that effect to a certain extent. And it actually can boost T levels a little or a lot, depending on how effective you are at working out. Of course, there's other factors involved, but we all know that working out boosts testosterone. So they want to get men out of the gym. They want to counter that testosterone boosting effect that working out actually has. And it looks like they're having some success. And now women are up in the ante. Now, I don't know if this woman was paid off by somebody to do this, or it's just, uh, you know, the natural next step of this uh, clout chasing and uh, victim chasing that was clearly artificially introduced. And now they got to up the ante to get more attention, get more validation, get more views. So yeah, her fashion statement uh, was uh, deemed inappropriate. Yeah, so here she is. She's thin. Uh, I'm guessing she has an okay body. So this guy had a problem, yeah. Uh, all right, let's view the video. Okay, so I love the uh, indignant tone of the text at the top of the screen. I mean, this is, this is just like reality TV, right? It's totally, completely fake. It's artificial. This uh, confrontation, not that the guy's response to her and her no pants was um, an artificial response, but uh, the situation itself is such that they wanted designed it, entered into this situation with the hope, with the desire of provoking uh, some kind of response from somebody so that then they could cry foul. And so there's some kind of double standard because at some point in time, some dude wore painted on this or that. I believe that dude covered up his junk, actually, uh, with fabric, and then the rest is uh, paint. He didn't actually have the entirety of his lower uh, nether regions uh, covered in uh, 
paint and, and no fabric. His junk was covered, I believe. Uh, so there's a, there's a difference, actually. Uh, but regardless, no, both are uh, inappropriate. There's no double standard except on your side, honey, the one that you expect, the privilege that you want, and have come to expect because you're entitled. Natalie Reynolds got pressed by some random dude that, of course, we didn't want to press her. No, we absolutely, positively wanted her pressed by somebody. Otherwise, this video uh, wouldn't be uh, worth making. Nobody would watch it if she just walked around the gym and was completely, totally ignored. The express purpose of making this video was to get some kind of negative attention so that you could then cry foul, cry oppression, cry victimhood. Okay, let's, uh, let's, let's watch... How she's been victimized. Yeah, I know the squat, bro. What? So what? If you don't have clothes on, you need to be... Yeah, she's right. She doesn't have clothes on. That's correct. You need the guy's sake. You don't have clothes on. You need to be out of, out of here. I do have clothes on. Oh, there's the gaslighting. I'm an attractive woman. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, she's got a bit of a belly there, so she's not all that thin. Uh, not much more the mosquito bites going on there so she's a little chubby uh not all that lean at all so i don't think she's actually a gym goer uh if she is she's not working out very hard because she got a bit of a paunch there you can see that uh yeah so what are you doing there honey look at her attention to validation baby and some good clickbait go closer Oh, no, 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 he's telling her, to, he's telling her, the dude that's shooting, to go closer, right? Let, let's get closer to this guy uh, and try to antagonize him some more so we can hear him better, so we can get some uh, more clickbait from this obvious Neanderthal gym bro who's just so dumb, he doesn't understand that I actually am wearing clothes, even though I'm not, because clothing is fabric, not paint. That is fine. I work in the industry enough to know. I work in the entertainment field. He's saying you need to leave. It's not a thing. No, no, report you for an agency. Report me. Cool. Report me! I love it. Yeah. He did, I'm sure. And, and I have no doubt that she... Well, do you think she got booted out? I don't... Yeah, she'd have to. I mean, come on. She can't be there to work out. Look, you're not wearing panties. You're not wearing fabric. That's completely, totally unacceptable. Do you think anybody wants to work in at a gym... Where dudes are walking out around with their junk hanging out, just covered in paint, and the dude's sitting down and he's uh, doing, uh, you know, bench presses. Then he gets up and there's all this, uh, you know, junk sweat all over the uh, bench. Nobody wants that. That's so unhygienic. And by the way, even if you didn't have, uh, even if you did have underwear, ruined pants on, you still gotta wipe the rack down. But I mean. Even then, I don't want that. Uh, that. That's just sweat, right? But nobody wants junk sweat and uh, bunghole juice all over the friggin' bench. Lady, you are inappropriate as all get out. I mean, she's covered, so... I'm yeah, she's... Oh, she's covered, so... Yeah, I'm gonna try to provoke this guy some more. Wait, is her top also covered in paint? Not just her bottom? Oh, wow. Wow, wow, we eat. That, that's just wonderful. <laughs> But there's no, I don't see uh, the protrusion of uh, nips. So there's got to be some fabric on her top underneath. So I find this interesting. Paint is not going to cover up her nips, right? So she's got fabric over her nips, and, and, and the fabric is clearly uh, glued onto her chest, and then they paint it over that. So she's covered up protrusions. So there's some part of her, some part of her mind, some part of her that understands that it's wrong to be displaying certain parts of your body. Otherwise, she would have just painted over her nips and the nipples would be protruding out. But no, she covered those up. Yeah, this is very, I love the gaslighting. She's covered. Yeah. She's covered. So we're not supposed to videotape I'm covered. recording just her. Yeah. You're not supposed to videotape, right? You're not supposed to videotape other people in the gym. Oh, well, the rules don't apply to me. And I'm just recording her, even though you're not supposed to videotape anyone, anywhere, at any time in the gym. It looks like they've uh, had a lot of complaints. They've seen all of these uh, clout-chasing broads going into the gym and then crying foul that some man had the audacity to look in her direction while she was squatting with totally, completely incorrect form. And the form was totally, completely incorrect because she was uh, showing, presenting her buttocks as much as humanly possible and looking for men to be looking at her 
and hoping they would so she could get, catch them on tape and then put them on TikTok or Twitter and shame them for doing absolutely nothing wrong, and which would, of course, lead them to not want to go to the gym at all, so tank the gym's business, so now they've passed the policy that there's no recording in the gym. But, oh, shit! I love this! Another double standard! I don't know what double standard she's talking about. It's okay if I film in here, even though the rules say you can't film. And the guy's like, I'm just filming her. Yeah, but you're filming her, but you're getting the entire background, and you're filming everybody else. And just filmed that guy also that walked off camera. I wonder if he was okay with being filmed and put on your little TikTok, Twitter page. Kind of doubt it, but it's okay. It's okay when you do it, right, ladies? Even though the rules say explicitly, state very explicitly, you can't do that. I, I love it. And she's talking about double standards. Talk about lacking in self-awareness. Get out of here, sweetheart. You're the one that actually came up to me. No, you went up to him. What are you talking about? They, 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 the guy that's shooting. So get closer, get closer. You went up to him. By the way, what does that have to do with the cost of tea in China? So? So what? Meaning what? Because you walked two steps to come up to me and tell me that I was dressed inappropriately because I'm not dressed at all. I'm naked. Technically, because pain ain't clothing, that somehow it's okay for me to be naked in the gym? That's a non What? Talk about a non sequitur. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> That's the logical conclusion I should come to? Really? Wow. Okay, okay honey. Yeah, I went into the gym. He came up to me. So it's okay if I'm naked in here because he came up to me and told me I shouldn't be naked in the gym. What is your argument? He's a, he's a fucking shit, bro. He's a effing idiot, yeah! You know that all the men here really want to see me Nick God, so it's okay if I'm Nick God. Yeah, I love the hubris, I love the ego. Yeah, because you're so hot, honey. She's really not. She, she's really not. She's mid at best. She's thin-ish, but she's kind of uh, skinny fat, really. And again, I don't see the nips. You got some fabric there, don't you? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's inappropriate. Mm, yeah, I don't want that protruding, but somehow paint this clothing, right? Yeah. No, no, clothing is clothing. And you've got some clothing fabric over them nips, don't you? <laughs> oh, which totally completely 100% counters your argument that you're dressed. Because if you thought that paint was clothing, you wouldn't have covered those nips up with what is obviously fabric underneath that paint. Would you now? Okay, let's do squats. Oh, let's do some squats. Yeah, we're going to go in the gym, totally completely naked, and do some naked squats. Male Karen? Yeah, he's yeah. Oh, he's a male Karen. A male Karen. Really? Is that really what a Karen is? <laughs> My, uh, by the way, why hasn't somebody come up with an actual male name for dudes that are male Karens? Like Ken's or something? I, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, these are Karen. I thought the Karens were people who had complaints about things that were, you know, not a real issue. That were just nothing. The stuff that was, uh, you know, minor, right? Of, of no real consequence to anybody. Oh, oh, yeah, this is... So by her saying that, oh, me being naked in the gym. No, I'm not naked. Paint is clothing, even though I've got clothing on my top. <laughs> So I don't actually believe that paint is clothing. Or I would just have paint on my top. Oh, uh, yeah, it's unreasonable for him to get so bent out of shape about something that is clearly of no real importance. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, honey. Sure. Whatever. Okay. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, Chad, two shots. Got We're going to get kicked out. We just got to... Yeah, we're gonna get kicked out. Why are you going to get kicked out? You didn't do anything wrong, wrong right? He's just a male Karen. He's a male Karen! No big deal, so I shouldn't get kicked out, but you just said you're going to get kicked out, so you're obviously doing something wrong, so he's not a male Karen. <laughs> he's not a male Karen at all. Why don't you go to a woman's only gym and dress in painted on pants? Oh, because nobody would care, because there'd be nobody in there, because the majority of women go to gyms, they get male attention. But now they're bitching and moaning and complaining about it to get more attention online, <laughs> which is just going to empty out the gyms, which I believe is the whole goal of this clout chasing nonsense women are doing in gyms so back to the story itself in text if you don't have clothes on you need to be out of here ma'am it's very polite he wasn't a male karen my experiences with karens is they tend to be very aggressive and very loud 
and they can't tend to just keep going and going and going like the Energizer uh, Bunny, and, and they don't stop and they don't let up. Seems like he was very polite and reasonable in his ask. Uh, I don't think he's a Karen at all. I do have clothes on! Yeah, yeah, yeah. After giving her a look-see, the gym shark concluded that her attire is not fine. Yeah, I work in the industry. Yeah, I work in entertainment, which is all this is. This is all performative just to get that desired outcome. But nobody's buying it. No, nobody is buying this BS gaslighting where she's trying to claim to be a victim. At that point, Reynolds' entourage backed her up, claiming that she's covered. Oh, of course, because you want to provoke the guy more. But he did what Karens don't do. He just walked away and quite rightly went to talk to management, which was the absolute right move to do because you were in the wrong. And you know you're in the wrong because you said you're going to get kicked out. So clearly, you're aware that you are 100% in the wrong. The clip concluded with the fashion policeman. Oh, he's a fashion policeman. What, what, what? Oh, this is the New York Post, of course. Yeah. Uh, so, of course, you're going to try to portray the guy in a negative light. The fashion policeman telling her she's not supposed to videotape inside the gym before walking away. Oh, so you're going to try to portray him in a negative light, even though his concerns were 100% rational, reasonable, and objectively true. I see. He just unreasonable fashion policeman. Yeah. Ren's clip didn't seem to elicit the sympathy she desired. No, it did not. No, it did not, because you were obviously cloud chasing and trying to stir up controversy, get attention, and portray yourself as the victim, and yet again, use men to do that. The majority of the, majority of the commentariat seemed to agree that her gym wear was inappropriate. Can you imagine that? That dude was 100% right, declared one critic of her legwork. He called out your de degenerate behavior, and you played victim. It is degenerate behavior. What's really sad, though, is that we've reached a point in Western culture where women believe that this isn't degenerate or it's somehow uh, not a big enough deal to say anything about it. And if you do, you're a, you're a male Karen. Yes, an irrational, unreasonable person making a mountain out of a molehill, essentially. No, I think it's a mountain. The problem is that you think it's a molehill, honey. <laughs> a molehill is your, uh, your chest there. Uh, yeah, this is indecent exposure, said another. You should be on the sex offender registry. If there were any young people, what? Yeah, by the way, what if there were kids in there? What if there were teenagers in that gym? I mean, people who are 12, 13 can and sometimes do go to gyms. It, wouldn't that be indecent exposure? Under the law, very technically, legally speaking. I mean, if there had been young people in there, couldn't she have been hauled off to jail? Shouldn't she have been hauled off to jail? Uh, did you really think that we would take your side, exclaimed another with a barfing emoji. I don't think she cares. I think all she cares about is chasing clout, creating content that is clickbait, and getting as many views as possible so that she can then go to advertisers and say, Hey, look at all these views I'm getting. Now give me an ad contract. Okay, so here we got a better look at her. Wow. So she's going to a lot of trouble to apply paint and try to make it look like clothes. I'm, I'm, I'm curious. So, if you think the paint by itself is sufficient to uh, label you, to identify you as clothed, why try to make it look like clothing? <laughs> if paint is clothing, why did you go out of your way to try and make it look like real clothing in the hopes, of, obviously, of fooling people to a certain extent. Why? If paint is clothing, why try to make the paint look like clothing? Because it's not. <laughs> and you're aware of that? Ah, so, let's see. Uh, I'm going to critique her. So, I don't see love handles on the back. She does have a little paunch there. She's most certainly not an athlete. She doesn't have an athletic build. She does have an okay body, though, especially by today's standards. I mean, body positivity, two-thirds of women are obese. Like, Lord knows how many of those are morbidly obese, so you got just a third of women, just maybe a third of women who ain't obese. Now, that doesn't mean they're not overweight or just bordering on obesity. So maybe 10% of women, 5%, 10% of women have okay bodies. That's just okay. Uh, Reynolds
Reynolds argument also rang hollow with the community notes, which took her male chastiser side. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, not only is this a push to get men out of gyms and uh, continue to tank their T levels without anything to counter those efforts, but this is also uh, a test, right, to see just how far to the left, just how far acceptance of degeneracy has been pushed. And, and, and the powers that be are always testing the limits. They want to see, they want to see, they want to see where the public is collectively, generally speaking. Is the new normal pushed enough to the degenerate left that people will accept this? And then they formulate their future actions and policies and plans based upon uh, these little, what are really laboratory tests. Yeah. The man in the video is protecting the overall gym etiquette. Correct. According to which you should wear clothes. Right. If she thought the paint was clothing, she wouldn't be trying to make it look like clothing by putting on zippers and buttons, painted on zippers, painted on buttons, painted on pockets and all that, okay? Suitable for exercise, it read. Yeah, you should wear clothes suitable for exercise, it read. Citing a Healthline article, wearing unsuitable clothes or none at all is considered to be disrespectful towards the others. It's also a hygiene risk. Precisely. Well, she has no respect for her. So, so why would she care about others? Despite the criticism, the gamer doubled down on her position. She's a gamer? Oh, really? Oh. Probably one of these Twitch broads. <laughs> Guys working years and years to get good at a game and give decent commentary, and she's just got to, you know, not be chunky, not be fat, and be female, and, and, and makes much more money. That, that's wonderful. <laughs> so she's in a position of privilege and entitlement, even though she complains that men are in such a position, yet more gaslighting. I was wearing a sports gym workout bra. It's painted on. That's paint, though. Oh, you're wearing a bra that you painted over. That's paint, though. Wait a second. Again, like I said, why are you wearing a fabric top if paint is clothing? Hmm? She's clearly aware that it's inappropriate. And a bathing suit bottom. Were you, though? No, you weren't. What do you mean bathing suit? There's no bottom there. A G-string? Oh, you were wearing a G-string. Well, that's not allowed in the gym either. I covered up my papoonie poon VJJ. Uh, did you? Okay. <laughs> Irrelevant. That also is inappropriate. Why everyone acted like I was naked? You essentially were darn near. By the way, wearing a G-string bottom is not appropriate for a gym either. It's appropriate for the beach. Same hygiene issues come into play. She insisted in a follow-up post on X. The amount of women who wear pants up the A at the gym. This is nothing bad at all. Yeah, 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 pants. That's the key word, pants. Yeah, the pants are up the A, but they're there. They're not a G-string bottom. And by the way, how do we know that? I, doesn't, I don't see any bottom there. I think just, she's just saying that after the fact to try and clear herself or claim that it wasn't as bad as people think. Because she got way more backlash than she uh, expected. She probably didn't expect any backlash. She probably expected, you go, girl, you queen, all these men's evil patriarchal double standards, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I don't think she was wearing a uh, bikini bottom, okay? I don't think so. Even if she was, it would be irrelevant, because I saw her uh, buttocks. I didn't see fabric. I saw everything very clearly. If she was wearing some kind of bottom, it was a G-string. And follow-up posts, Reynolds suggested that society has a double standard when it comes to couture. I have yet to see any men walking around in a gym with their buttocks painted black, hoping that people would think that was clothing. I haven't seen that, so I don't know what double standard you're talking about. Referencing the skinly clad male bodybuilders. Yes, skip. Okay, are you talking about bodybuilding competitions? Because there are dress standards in gyms for men. They can't be shirtless. They can't be bottomless. They can't be wearing G-strings. Okay, they can't be wearing bikini bottoms. The only guys that dress up like that are ones that are competing in bodybuilding competitions. That's not the gym. So that's a false conflation. Yet another false conflation, yet more flawed logic from this chick. I shouldn't expect anything else, and I really don't. 
and male YouTubers working out in similar retirement. Similar or same? What do you mean by similar? <laughs> That's not the same to her with seemingly no issue. Uh, it's not the same. Oh, okay. Uh, so, yeah. Similar is not same. So, yet another logical fallacy. She argued that if it was a real issue, the gym would have kicked her out instead of allowing her inside to film. But they did actually kick you out, <laughs> didn't they? I think they did. Oh, after that guy complained, but before that, they let me in. Yeah, because they didn't take a close enough look. That's why you painted on all those little highlights and the lighter spots contrasting with the darker blue spots. You did as much as you possibly could to make your bottom look like you were wearing pants, but they weren't actually pants, so that only somebody who wasn't giving you a cursory glance. It's not like these gyms have doormen, yo. You just walk in. And whoever's behind the desk, he's just, if he even gives you a glance away from his phone, he's not going to notice. <laughs> Very likely, the person who was behind the counter was some distance away. And because of that, and because the, uh, you know, six or seven hours you're putting having this painted on to try and make it look like real pants, they didn't notice at first. But if you'd have been a little closer, if whoever was behind that counter had been a little closer, they would have seen that your pants are not actually pants. So that's not a real argument. And I'm very sure if whoever was behind the counter had saw that you just had paint and not clothing on your bottom, that they would have confronted you. But they didn't. And then the guy in the gym went and let them know, made them aware, and you got kicked out as you knew you would. If you were kicked out, you should have been. And by the way, if she wasn't kicked out, this article would have said, have said so, because this article is clearly trying as hard as it possibly can to run interference with this chick, labeling, labeling that guy a fish police man. We see what side that the New York Post is on, eh? The only reason they didn't go further, trying to white knight and simp for this broad and pander to her, is because of the overwhelming backlash that she got. If there had been more people supporting her in the comments on social media, they would have went further to white knight for this chick. They went far enough, though, to tell me what side they are on, they being the New York Post. Yeah, so that's not an argument. And if she had not been kicked out, this article would have made note of that. And the end result, though, was that she wasn't kicked out. To essentially say, without saying it, so how bad was it really if she didn't get kicked out? No, she did, or the article would have said she didn't. So there you go, there you go. Yet more clout chasing, more victimhood chasing from women. And I believe all of this is being encouraged from the top down. It's more social engineering. It's yet more efforts by the powers that be to make the gym environment as hostile as possible so that men will stop chasing gains, that men will stop working out in ever greater numbers so that they will become fatter, more out of shape, and the fatter they become, the more out of shape they become, the lower their T levels get, the higher their estrogen levels get, the easier they are to control. And that's what the powers that be want from us. That's what they want for us. They want us to be fat, out of shape, sheeple that are easily herded, easily led, that are nothing more than useful idiot tax chattel. But anyway, let me know what you think. Did she go into this gym looking for, to provoke people? Did she go into this gym looking for confrontation, wearing no clothes, essentially? Or was this just a big old misunderstanding and she only did it to, I don't know, not get confronted, not be bothered, not get some clickbaity content for her? Stupid TikTok and Twitter? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already. Also, check me out on Alt Tech. Beat Shoot. Beat C H U T E dot com. And R U M, you know, B L E. I'm the Realist Philosopher on both of those platforms. Also, give me a like. Give me a thumbs up, helps with the algorithm. Leave a comment, that also helps. Let me know what you think. And if you really like and appreciate my content, please go follow me on Patreon. Make a monthly donation. 
I am the realist philosopher there, can really use your help. So if you can afford to and you like my content, please consider supporting it. Anyway, I am the Bachelor Philosopher here on YouTube, and I'm also known as the Realist Philosopher, and I wish you all a good and pleasant day. Take care.